Hi guys, it's Natalie here and I am super excited to bring you a video tutorial showing you an interesting technique to use with these new release floral dies from Uniquely Creative. This um, stamp and die set is called Sending Love and it comes with these really lovely uh, floral uh, images and there's quite a number of sentiments in here as well. Uh, there's a matching die set too, but I'm not going to be using that one today for this technique which is all about doing a symmetrical stamping pattern and then this spotlight colouring. So let me show you how to achieve that result. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my panel that I'm going to do the colouring on and if you can just notice I've subtly drawn in grey lead pencil across in the middle so that um, that is the center lines. Now I'm going to grab my mini misty and pop my piece of paper in and I'm going to start with the biggest flower here because I find it easier to start with the biggest image and then work my way out from there. Now I am going to line this up um, as close to that sort of center cross as I can without um, crossing over the center lines. Now what I mean by that is that I can cross upwards but not across on the same um, okay this is really hard to explain. The horizontal line if I go above it I can't cross the vertical line. Um, so I am just lining this up close to the center here as I can. Now you do need to use a misty for this if you want to make it really easy for yourself. So I have popped that on there and because I'm going to be using um, some watercolors later on to color my images I'm going to use a permanent ink or a waterproof ink like stays on and so I'm just going to press that down. Now these stamps leave a really nice um, crisp image with these really sort of nice thin lines. Now without taking my stamp off the Mini Misty I am literally just going to flip my piece of paper to the opposite corner and then I don't need to line like I don't need to move this and I know that it's going to go directly towards the middle there again. Now after I stamp this one the rest of it is going to come together really easily. Now that one just I'm going to stamp again because some of those details in the flower didn't quite come up properly. So there we go. So now I can take this one off my Mini Misty and grab the next one which let's grab another one of the big floral images and we're going to put this one here and once again if I ink this up and stamp this in place here to get the same image but on the direct opposite I'm just going to turn it around in a circular pattern Stick it down again, ink up my stamp again, and go here. And I am just going to literally uh, keep on going with that idea. And you want the images to be sort of as close to each other as you possibly can. So where I'm seeing these gaps in here, I know I'm not going to fit another flower in there. So let's grab sort of one of the smaller images like the leaf and let's fill in those gaps. But basically um, I'm going to just do that same thing and I'm going to fill up this whole piece of paper and um, that way it's going to create this really lovely symmetrical mirror image pattern in the card. So I'm just going to speed through that.
Now for this second part of the technique, um, I have, so I finished stamping and I've rubbed out my center cross in there and I've just started masking out my area with some washi tape. Now on this occasion I thought instead of doing uh, the diamond shape like I did on this card, I'm going to do a really simple rectangle shape. Nice and easy. So I am um, using some washi tape to mask off the area that I'm going to paint. I, I use washi tape because, let's be honest, we've all got rolls and rolls of it in our stash and never use it all. And because it comes off at the end without leaving, um, you know, residue and it comes off without ripping the paper. So I'm actually even just sticking it to my craft mat and I'm lining um, everything up. Uh, I haven't like officially measured, but I'm using the measuring tape on my board behind here um, so that the rectangle will be symmetrical. And then I am going to just paint inside the rectangle and obviously leave um, the rest of it white. I am using my Zig Real Color brush, um, Real Brush Color pens um, for this. So the way that I do that, sorry, you can't quite see it in the shot. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Is I use an acrylic block and I scribble my color down onto it. I've just got a piece of white paper um, underneath it so that I can see um, the color a bit easier. And I'm just going to use the same color scheme as what I used on my first card. So um, orange flowers and purple flowers and green leaves. So I'm just refreshing my block here with two tones of each color so that you can do some shading. And then um, I haven't used watercolor paper here um, so it doesn't give that sort of same watercolor effect as um, what watercolor paper would do but I don't believe that you need to be an expert in coloring principles for every single card that you do. Just um, literally painting these colors on and um, not being too fussy about it. Um, but I will do some sort of shading techniques for bringing in those two tones for every color. And um, not only am I going to paint the images but paint all the background spaces as well with a blue color. So again you don't need to see me do all of this but you understand the principles here. So I'll speed through this as well. So that's what it looks like when it's all finished getting colored in um, and this was one of the tricks as to why when you started stamping you wanted to try to get those images as close together as you possibly could because coloring the images um, is the easy bit coloring the background in between it is a little bit harder or um, takes a lot more sort of patience and plus the images of course is where you're going to get all of your color from so the more images you can cramp into your um, confined space the more colorful and exciting this card's going to be now my light is fading fast here so i quickly wanted to show you the reveal of this before night sets in because of course this is the moment that we've been waiting for my watercolors aren't completely dry just yet but um, being very brave so i'm just peeling this off quite gently and you can see that that washi tape leaves some really nice crisp lines where it's coming away without ripping the paper. And how effective does that look? So all I'm going to do obviously to finish off this card is when it's nice and dry is I'm going to adhere it to a card base and then um, stamp off my sentiments for the... Um, center of it and this is why even though you know these leaves don't match here in the middle and that would otherwise drive me crazy is that we're just going to cover that up 
we're going to cover that up with a sentiment like this this comes in the stamp set as well I'm not sure that I'm going to be using that pink one I just happen to have it on standby to show you maybe a green looks way better um, and then I will finish it off with some enamel dots as well to add all those little pops of color and that's how easy uh, this technique is it requires just a little bit of patience um, but it looks really effective that spotlight um, colored image and super fun to do so I hope that I have been able to teach you something um, either with the spotlight coloring or with this sort of not mirror image but this symmetrical stamping uh, with your mini misty or similar Alright, thanks guys. I will see you again real soon. Bye.